All right, so since I'm gonna be using Node.js and VS Code in most of the things I'll be doing probably, I'm just gonna do a quick installation video on how to get this installed and it should be pretty straightforward. So the first thing you want to do is just go to nodejs.org. Brings me to Node.js, now the current recommended version is this 12.16, that's the one I'm gonna go ahead and download. So right now I'm on a Mac, I'm gonna show you how to do this on a Windows machine too. So I'm gonna download this, that opens the installation, so it's pretty much just next, 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 next. And there it is, it's done. So I also need to install Visual Studio Code, which is open right here, see code.visualstudio.com. So I'll go ahead and download this as well. And again, the whole installation. So I'm on Firefox, you might be on Chrome. So that basically just opened up for me because I was using Firefox, but if it's not, you'll just go ahead and open that. And if you open the zip file, we have the app. Now you probably don't want to put the app in here and run it from your downloads. So the best thing to do is to just drag it to your applications folder. And see for me, I already have it in there. So it says, do you want to replace it? What do you want to do? Now I don't really want to replace what I already have installed. So I'm just going to hit stop. But for you, that should just basically bring that in and you should have Visual Studio Code installed. Now, once you have it in your applications folder, you'll just open applications and double click on Visual Studio Code. So if I go to my applications folder, there it is. You have different applications, but one of those should be now Visual Studio Code. And you can just go ahead and double click to open that. And that should open up similar to this. Now, I don't want this welcome page on the startup anymore, so I'm gonna uncheck that and X out of this. And I wanna open my integrated terminal now. So right here on top, you should have view, which you probably can't see, but it's up there next to file edit selection. So view and terminal. So if I open that, it should open my integrated terminal. And now I just want to test and make sure my node is installed properly. So all I have to do is just type node dash V. And if I hit enter, see, it gives me the version that was installed. So if you did that, then you're good. You installed your Visual Studio code. You have your Node.js installed. You're good to go. Now let me try all of this on a Windows machine again. See how it goes. Now here it is, it's basically Firefox now on Windows machine and that brings me here. So the same thing, I'm gonna click on this and download this. And then as usual, we'll have to open this and run the installation, blah, blah, blah. So that opens our node installation, next. I'm just gonna leave it as default, next. Uh, so some NPM modules need C to be compiled. Python Visual Studio build tools need to be installed. I'm gonna leave this unchecked for now. You could check this. This is actually not a bad thing to install, but for now I'm gonna leave it unchecked. Hit next and install. And we have to have admin permissions here. So there it is, this is installed. We got our Node.js, all good. I'm gonna click finish. Now we go to Visual Studio Code. So again, code.visualstudio.com. So there we have it, download for Windows. And then we'll open that and run the installation. These are actually not bad to add, but again, I'm just not gonna do any of that. So again, all of that is done. Now it should be in your programs, but we can also just check this box to open Visual Studio Code. So I'm gonna hit finish. So again, our welcome screen, I'm gonna uncheck this box, close this, and let's try to open our terminal. So I'll go under view and open terminal. Ah! 
So for whatever reason, this won't let me open my terminal here. So as usual with Windows, there is something to fix. So let's go ahead and close this for a second. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open the start menu. There is the installation. I'm gonna right click on this and I'm gonna try to run it as an administrator. And there seems to be something in here. Oh, there it is. So it's kind of lower for whatever reason. That's weird. So now if I do node dash V, see the same thing. It gives me the version and all of that. So that looks good. Now you probably don't want to go and right click and run this as an administrator every single time when you need to open this. So you should be able to just set it to run as administrator all the time. So if we click on that start menu, let's actually close this. And I'm going to click on that start menu again, go to right click on this and go to open file location. There is that file. I'm going to right click and go to properties of that file. And here, where is it? There it is. Compatibility. See, run this program as administrator. I'm going to check this box. Hit OK. So now hopefully next time if I go to start menu and open Visual Studio Code. There it is. The PowerShell is loading. But once I type in here, we have this. So node-v. That seems to work. I would probably also set this for the actual program other than just the shortcut. So let me do that too. So close this, go to the start menu all over again. And if I do open file location, that will take us here. If I right click and do open file location, that will get us to the actual program. So now if I right click and go to properties, I should be able to do the same. Oh, apparently that automatically is done. Good, so nothing else. So that should take care of it. So it's a little weird, but it seems to work. Again, just do this one more time. So I'm pretty sure you can install some other terminal tools to make this process easier. See, this loads and you cannot really see the cursor, but I've noticed if you click here and hit a key, it actually brings the terminal. And again, I'm sure there is a nicer way of dealing with this on Windows. But other than that, we have Node installed. We should be able to do Node-V again. Gives us the version all set. So that's how you can have Visual Studio Code and Node.js installed on Windows or a Mac.